speak to you after a 5-2 defeat for Celtic here at Rugby Park. Um, perhaps Celtic would deserve the win, but would you take exception to the margin of defeat? I don't even know if they deserve the win, to be honest with you. We played exceptionally well. Um, it's unbelievable to think that we've lost five goals in that game. Uh, three goals in quick succession. You've been happy with the, the way that we set out the first 20 minutes. You make your plans, but does that sort of throw everything out the window? Craig Samson was brilliant last week against Thistle. Uh, and he makes a mistake that cost us the first goal. Um, but we've got to react better to that. We can't let our heads go down after losing the first goal. Uh, and that's what happened to us with two rapid goals after that. But we've got to defend them better. It eventually did make our way back into the game. A couple of great goals for Sammy Cluggy and Sean Clossy. What was your message to the players at half time? The boys were playing exceptionally well. We controlled the majority of the first half. It was just mistakes that had cost us. And you could see the belief that they had in the team. They were passing the ball well, creating chances. And we were closing them down really well. So that was the positives we got to take for the game. Hey, say passing the ball a bit well. How key is Sammy Cling to that? I mean, a midfielder of the international class. Yeah, you can see the difference he made. Um, it looks to go in the ball and it makes a massive difference. And um, Pascali as well, he's a major influence in the dressing room. And he's a top player. <laughs> uh, Michael Gardine, missing next week. What did you, how does that affect your plans? He's been great this week, hasn't he? He has. He's gave the place a real lift. He's a top quality player. And you can see today that the quality he's got it caused him all sorts of problems. I like to, he's worked great as well. Thanks, Alan. Thanks.